Coastal New Orleans is losing a football field of wetlands every 100 minutes. That's 100 yards every 100 minutes. The wetlands have a number of benefits, including hurricane protection. The New Orleans East Land Bridge is no different, but it's on pace to vanish over the next half century. Paul Dudley has more. We are on Lake Catherine in uh, Bayjean Point. That's how As Captain Paul McIntyre motors along the waters on Lake St. Catherine, he admits there's no place he'd rather be. It's paradise. I grew up in a camp right on Lake Catherine. Um, this was my playground as a kid. It's, it's a, something that most people don't get to enjoy on a regular basis or ever see in their lives. But McIntyre's paradise is changing. Where we are here right now in the boat used to be land. Lake Catherine was a very, very productive area as far as fishing, hunting, you know, and um, it, it's, it's gone. Protecting McIntyre's home and about a million others from storm surge during a hurricane is a strip of land known as the New Orleans East Land Bridge. It's a critical area of land just to the east of New Orleans that um, is very important for uh, protecting Lake Pontchartrain, all the people around Lake Pontchartrain, so like 1.5 million or so people. The land bridge is the last barrier between New Orleans and the Gulf of Mexico. It is on track to vanish over the next 50 years. Our land has been subsiding um, because of various reasons, because of the levees that we've built, and there's a natural subsidence process, so land is um, sinking. We also have built channels um, that have brought in maritime channels and oil and gas that's brought in salt into a freshwater system is really damaging you know all of these wetlands hurricane protection isn't the only thing at risk here land loss has also changed the waters McIntyre has fished his whole life it's disturbing to me mainly the hydrology of the water changing because it allows salt water to get where fresh water is and fresh water to get where brackish waters would be and as an oyster fisherman the brackish waters was important but work is underway to restore the land bridge. There are several different restoration projects from I-510 to St. Tammany Parish. The projects aim to work together to create speed bumps to slow down storm surge and restore the land. We've got a series of, of restoration projects. Some have been completed, some of are um, about to come out of the ground, and others are planned. They're going to be dredging mud from the bottom of Lake St. Catherine and Lake Bourne um, and pumping that in to the area um, where, we're in the, where we want to create, create marsh. Barbara Johnson with Great Delta Tours, a New Orleans-based ecotourism company, organized a trip recently to show off one spot along the land bridge slated to be restored. On the trip were scientists, students, and businessmen like Shelby Russ. Uh, you know, I, I would love for my children to, to continue to be able to live in this beautiful area. It's, it's one of the, I, I'm not native to the area and have fallen in love with, with the community and, and want to know that it's an area that people can can live in, you know, 50, 100 years into the future. Google Earth shows just how much land has been lost here since 1986, but these restoration projects look to change that. McIntyre is optimistic it will make a difference. I'll see land in a year, I'll see the protection in a year, and to me that's what's important because the storms come, you lose so much land so fast. That was Paul Dudley reporting. There are two restoration projects happening right now along the land bridge. There's also a $100 million protection project in the early design stage. Funding has already been approved from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation.